Hello, this is Rupinder Syal and welcome to Spartan Tutorials. Today we are going to talk about a recently approved antibody combination for COVID-19 and that is the antibody cocktail. It has been recently advertised to be available for sale on this Monday and so 24th of May and this is available for COVID-19 patients and this has been authorized on an emergency basis by Government of India as well as the uh, Food and Drug Administration of US. So let's talk about what is this antibody cocktail. So the antibody cocktail uh, that has been generated, it is developed by this company called Regeneron. Okay, Regeneron is a New York based company. They originally developed it, they did all the research, they published many papers about its efficacy. And what is this antibody cocktail? It is not approved and it is only authorized for emergency use. I would like to mention that ex-president of USA, Donald J. Trump, he was prescribed this exact antibody cocktail okay, on a compassionate ground. And it is a combination of two monoclonal antibodies. So monoclonal antibodies, as I think you must be pretty sure if you're watching our channel, if you're not, please take a look at our other videos. Monoclonal antibodies are those antibodies which have identical, you know, uh, epitope binding regions and they have similar binding affinities as compared to polyclonal ant uh, antibodies, which have, you know, which recognize different epitopes on an antigen. So these are remarkably homogeneous. So there are two monoclonal antibodies here, casirivimab and imdavimab. And as I said in my last video also, whenever you see this MAB at the end of a drug or drug's name, you, you, can, you can be pretty much sure that it is a monoclonal antibody. MAB stands for monoclonal antibody. These are very expen expensive to produce. You have to have lots of cell cultures and a lot of stringent quality controls to make sure uh, these are produced in adequate amounts. They are not very high throughput. So that's why I think they are very costly. Okay. We will come to the cost also. And that's the cost two dose pack, which is uh, uh, suitable for two patients costs roughly around 1.2 lakhs, right? So it's a pretty expensive drug, I think. And I would say it is out of reach of many thousands or probably millions of Indians. Right, so not a very cheap drug, but I, I would say it is uh, at least you know an av available choice for patients. The brand name of this drug is Regen Cov, okay, because it was developed by Regeneron, and two companies, Cipla in India and Roche, which is a Swiss-based company, has agreed to produce it in India. So they are basically licensing this technology from Regeneron and producing it in India. Here you can see the structure of the spike protein. So they, they did extensive structural analysis on the spike protein as well as how the antibodies are binding to it. So here you can see the two different antibodies uh, labeling labeled in two different colors, how they bind to the uh, spike protein. So what happens is these antibodies should be produced when we get COVID-19 vaccination. And that's what provides us with long-term immunity. It produces memory B cells later on. And so we are pretty much immune to COVID-19 later on. But some people may not have that, those antibodies and they are already at the advanced stage or they are already you know, pretty much close to the threshold of developing COVID-19 symptoms. So I think this drug is very useful for that because antibodies can neutralize these viral particles which are present in the blood. So how do they do that? Well, if we have the virus and the antibody floating around in the blood, the antibodies will recognize spike protein which are present on the outside of the coronavirus surface or any virus surface and they will form these, you know, large bodies or aggregates, okay, which will trigger the immune system and phagocytic cells as shown here, the phagocytic cells, so macrophages, neutrophils, these are activated by, uh, you know, uh, presence of these aggregates in the blood and they gobble them up and basically destroy everything inside. They, they have a lot of enzymes which degrade the virus, which degrade the, all the components. So the virus is no more. Okay. So this is how these monoclonal antibodies will work. So who is it for? 
especially patients at high risk for developing COVID-19 and who do not require supplemental oxygen. Now, what defines high risk? People who are already immune compromised, so those who have weak immunity, for example, somebody who has undergone kidney transplant, somebody who has undergone chemotherapy recently, somebody who has, for example, low birth weight, although it is not prescribed for children, but adults who have very low weight, right? so they have deficiencies in their immune system, uh, stem cell transplant patients, any type of immune compromised people will benefit from this drug. Okay. And this combination, why do we have these two antibodies? Technically, one should be more than enough. But this combination is provided to prevent the de de uh, development of anti antibody resistance because what happens is this two-pronged attack on the spike protein will delay and will hopefully prevent the development of antibody resistance. Just like antibiotic resistance, this is antibody resistance. So spike protein may evolve to change its structure so that it is no longer bound by these antibodies and that will make these antibodies ineffective. And to prevent that, this combo is provided. Okay. So that was my discussion of antibody cocktail. As I said, it is available in markets as well as in uh, authorized government hospitals as well as private hospitals starting from this Monday. So that is 24th of May. It has already passed. So I hope you found this information useful. Please let me know if you have any doubts, comments or questions about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.